BCTV's Roland Boyden here uh, for 545 Live. We're doing a special report. Uh, we're on a 15-minute recess, still in the morning uh, section of Brattleboro Representative Town Meeting, where a, uh, an amendment has just been added to uh, the motion to pass the town school district budget, the amendment to reduce uh, the budget by $1 million. We were prepared to talk about the Finance Committee's uh, recommendation of cutting $211,000. And um, the fact that we have actually only lost 30 students in the last four years, um, it's not like we can close any classrooms. Our, our average class sizes are between 16 to 18 students a class. Some classes are up to 20. So it's, it's not like we could say, okay, so let's, let's cut classes. For, for 211,000, we're talking about like four positions. So again, we can't class, cut classrooms. So what we would be looking at are things like foreign language, um, music, art, enrichment. Um, that, that's probably where th that $200,000 would come from. And so it's really um, restricting the curriculum, um, limiting those sorts of programs that our kids need. Uh, a million dollar cut. Uh, our finance administrator just did a quick calculation. That would be somewhere around 17 positions. So that would be like the equivalent of uh, the teaching staff at Oak Grove School, let's say eliminating that whole staff, but we don't have a place for those students. So, you know, it's not like we can consolidate schools and incorporate those kids into other classrooms. It, you know, it, it would be really a significant reduction. And so, from our perspective, if, if that actually passed, which, which I would hope it's not because it's not based on any sort of reality, it's just um, somebody that took a number out of the air. Um, one, I hope that we would be able to discuss what the implications would be. Uh, and then if, if that type of reduction ever did occur, we, we would need to work with the school board, with the administrators, and, and come back to do a reconsideration budget um, so the taxpayers could actually understand what the implications w would be uh, for that type of reduction. What we heard Wednesday night during the information meeting is that there's so much pressure on the town with uh, the new fire and municipal building, um, you know, the BUHS numbers in terms of the tax impact, uh, the, town budget, the town school board budget. So I think it's kind of just an overall concern that we're spending too much money. Um, but I think clearly, I, I know firsthand that the school board works very closely with the administrative team, with the principals to come in to what we feel is a very responsible budget that maintains programs but also takes into consideration what the taxpayers can afford. I think it's our role to justify what the budget is, uh, is contained in the budget and to make sure uh, we, we can let people know what the impact would be if that type of reduction, any reduction came through. I mean, I think in the past, if, if reductions of 30000 50000 that sort of thing, you know, we, we can go back into our budget and say, okay, so we can deal with this and, you know, reduce some things without gutting programs. Uh, a major reduction like that was proposed is, is really just eliminating programs that, you know, uh, we have mandates to provide. So I don't, I don't know what we'd do other than come back at a later date with a different budget. <laughs> Thank you.